Hey, so today we will talk about DTO model and entity. We will talk with real life example. We will dig into the code. We will understand why we need these. So many times we always get confused between DTO model and entity like now. So if you see the box is similar, the color is similar, everything is same, only the name is different. So that is why we get confused. So now let's understand, you know, what these things are. So if we go for DTO, so it stands for data transfer object and you know it holds the object that needs to be transferred. If you go for model, it does the same thing. It also holds the object that needs to be transferred. Same for entity, it also holds that uh, object which needs to transfer and that is the main reason people get confused. So let's you know uh, try to solve this problem. So what happened? So you know. The job of these uh, DTO model entity is same, but on a different level. So whenever you are working with, you know, web layer over there, if you are creating a class over there, you need to set that class name as a DTO or treat that class as a DTO. If you are working on a service layer, so there your class would be model, which holds the object. And where you, if you're working with a database layer, so there your class would be entity. Right, so this is similar to you know uh, three different companies. The job of all those companies to you know uh, move your parcel from one place to different place, but their role is different. Right, <clears throat> so this is similar. So if you go to technically, if you are working with you know different layer architecture, you must have web layer, service layer, and database layer. So over there you have to you know understand that if you are working with property class you have to name that DTO. If you're working with a property class on the service layer, over there that class would be called model. And similar in the database layer, that class would be called entity, right? Okay, so let's dig into the code. And before we dig into the code, let me introduce myself. So I'm Parveen Yadav, I'm having 10 plus years of experience and I'm working with .NET, Angular and Azure Cloud Technologies. You can find me over LinkedIn and Stack Flow also. I hope, Let's go ahead and you know uh, talk technically. Let's dig into uh, Visual Studio. <clears throat> okay, so let's see what we talked right now. So we have database layer, service layer, and web layer, three different layers, right? So on the web layer, we have that called DTO, person DTO. On the service layer, we have called model. And on the database layer, we have that repository under there, we have entities, right? So let's talk a little about uh, these layer also. So the job of the web layer is to, you know, uh, communicate uh, with service layer and pass the final data to the end users, to the response, API response, that is web layer. The job of the service layer is to deal with your business logic, your application business logic and service layer fetch the data from communicate with our uh, database layer and your web layer right uh, the job of database layer database layer deals with your uh, database as name says right and sometimes we call it repository as well and there you know it fetch the data and pass on to a uh, different layer okay so now let's dig in more into the code so just for the demo what i have done I have created these three different layers. Uh, over here, for database, we have one entity called person, and properties are person ID, first name, last name, and date of birth. Right. So this is the raw data which my database store, and these same fields would be into your database tables. Right. So always remember, entity, your entity class, and your database table needs to be in sync so if there is a table in your database called person so they need to be in sync okay so now this is you know entity class and uh, let's go to my service layer <clears throat> okay over here so for here i have again you know person model and if you look at the difference between person and uh, this person and this person between entity and model person. So let's open both the files, you know, together. Mm. Okay, here you go. 
so this is your uh, entity and this is your model okay so let's look at the entity we have four fields on the uh, business logic side we have service layer side we have five fields so there is a one field difference right now so what happened here in the database you had person id their first name last name and date of birth stored but when it comes to business logic i wanted to you know do some business logic over there and uh, i'm still fetching all those details which i need like person id first name and last name along with that i am i also need a full name and to get the full name for sure i need to perform some business logic that i will show you and then instead of date of work because date of work something is you know uh, related to our database but for my business i don't care about date i only need to find about find out the age of that person right so see that is the difference now if you go to my web layer which is dto data transfer object so let's open third file okay so in the response i don't need whole information which you know uh, service layer is sending to me i just need person id full name and age i don't care about first name and last name because i don't want to pass that back to a client right because i do not want to expose all of my information from what is coming from service layer to my client client apps right so this is how it works and that is the main difference so let me show you the logic what i have done uh first let's jump to my database database call so here if you see i have created one repository and here i'm mocking the data i'm not going to you know make original call to database because this is just demo application so just imagine this is a database call and i'm returning this information i'm returning you know person data id is one first name last name and then date of work right now if i go to my and see this is returning your uh entity model response now if i go to my business logic which is service layer you will see there are some business logic performed on the data that is coming in entity object right so you see here i fetch that data uh, from that repository and here i am manipulating that data so for sure i have person id first name uh, and this should be last name right first name last name and full name i am concatenating the data that is business logic i am performing now for age i have some logic that i am calculating and instead of you know uh, returning date of birth back to a uh, web layer which is dto i am just performing some logic and sending back age right and now that you already know this web layer is only the only need person id full name and age they don't need uh, first name and last name as well right so i hope this is clear this is a big difference you know uh, between gto model and entity so entity deal with your database layer uh, models uh, deal with your service layer and dto deals with your uh, web layer i hope it is clear and you had a good learning time uh, if there is any doubt and clarification needed, please share your feedback on the chat box. I will try to cover in the next video.